Us bike lovers, we love all bikes. You know, the N plus one that comes to mind. We can never have enough. I think I need a commuter bike actually to get from work and then to get back home. And then for the winter and the weekends, you've got to have a mountain bike, you know, when the weather's bad and then a vintage bike because well, every bicycle lover needs a vintage bike to go on the wall, you know, polish it in the evenings. Hmm. And I think you'd be lying to me if you told me that these questions have never gone through your mind at some point. So in this video, we're going to find out if the road bike is the only bike you need. Right, man on, are you ready to kick on off then? Let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the gravel bike. The bike a lot of people say is the only bike you need. And Alex did a video claiming that the gravel bike was top of the list. But I think the road bike is incredibly versatile too. And here's why. Let's start off with my favorite one, speed. Now the road bike offers all the speed you're ever gonna need, depending on how fit the rider is. The only bike that really eclipses it, well, is the time trial bike. And then riding that to the shops, through town, up a mountain, oh, it's, it's just, not just It's not practical at all. Whether you're commuting, or you're going out on a training ride, or even riding with your friends on the weekend, you're gonna to wanna to pick up the road bike. Yeah. Speed is accessed easily on it when you compare it to a gravel bike or even a mountain bike. And who doesn't want that? I mean, like, we on. love it. Getting from A to B, using a bike as a form of travel. And let's just say the road bike definitely takes the biscuit, in my opinion. It is one of the quickest options after all. And why may you ask? Hank? The road bike offers the three different hand positions as well to keep you nice and comfortable. So you've got the hoods up here, you've got the tops when you want to be a bit more upright, and then the most aerodynamic of them all, the drops. But it's not just the body position that keeps it fast and comfortable, it's also the geometry and the tyres. Now the road bike is known for having skinny tyres, keeping road resistance down to an absolute minimum. But it's not just quick on the road, it also can go off-road. Here's why. Now, road bikes aren't just capable on the road, they're also capable off-road too. They're actually more capable than ever. I mean, things of the like of Paris-Roubaix and Strada Bianchi. What road bikes can do there and the speed they can travel over that rough terrain. Now, why, you may ask? Now, the reason is because the tyres have got a lot wider. They were around 21 millimetres in the olden days or a few years back, and now they can go up to 32 millimetre tyres. And it's not just the width, it's also running tubeless, meaning punctures are a thing of the past. Well, we hope. Next up, gears. Road bike has a wide variety of gears to access. You could run a three by, a two by, or even a one by up front and have all the options when it comes to the mountains. And you can gear up as much as you want. Well, within reason, all the speed will come down to the power in your legs. And going uphill is made easier by the big range of gears on your back cassette. You could have a 10 speed, 11 speed, 12 speed, even 13 speed. But it's not only the gears that will help you when the road goes uphill. There's also weight. Now, when you see a road bike, the first thing you're going to want to do is pick it up. I mean, road bikes are known for being feather light. And Ollie did a video on a bike that weighed a ridiculous 4.28 kilograms. So it just shows how light road bikes can get. Now, not all road bikes are that light. It does depend on what material is used. Now, why are road bikes known to be so light? Now, it's because when designing road bikes, they want to get the lightest possible. Now, weight is one of their key priorities. So the material that the road bike's made from is absolutely key. Now, road bikes are made from a whole host of different materials, but the most common one is carbon, the one this one is made from. Now, carbon is light, but it's also strong. 
meaning you marry stiffness and lightness, giving you a fast, quick, efficient, and comfortable ride, which is exactly what you want. Perfect. Now this makes climbing an absolute dream. And yes, before you say anything, it does help if the rider is fit too. Unfortunately, the bike doesn't do all the work for you. Unless you have an e-bike, that is. Now on to the big one, the cost. And it has to be said, the lighter and better the road bike, the bigger the price tag is going to be. But when looking for the one bike to do it all, the road bike is the one, in my opinion. I mean, you can ride with your mates on it, you can commute on it, you can race on it, you can even ride on some gravel if you really wanted to. I mean, man, I'll think about it. Mark Beaumont rode around the world he did. on the road bike, and I think that says it all. But you can also save money if you use it as a commuter to pack up oh, fuel prices. You, you have, have to pay, pay them. Parking. Parking. Bus, train tickets, and the you, list goes on. You can on. even get rid of your car and just use it as a mode of transport everywhere. Yeah, and unlike the mountain bike, you don't have to faff with all the suspension and servicing. And the running costs on a road bike are a lot cheaper. So it has to be said that the mountain bike and the gravel bike are the adventure bikes. But I still believe that the road bike is very capable and fit for an adventure. A modern road bike with disc brakes and a cleaner, more streamlined frame is great to fit all your bike packing bags. So then you can go out and head aboard your favorite road bike when heading out on a bike packing adventure. So there we have it. Have we changed your mind or maybe you agree with us? Let us know in the comment section below. Is the road bike the only bike you need? Can't wait to have a look at those comments. But if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all the latest content. Oh, now time to enjoy the coffee. Yes. Where's yours? It's coming, I hope. Mm.